What's going on guys? How are we doing today? It is me, Retro Obsessed. I am back. I got a little something different for you guys. I got a product review on something that's going to be a game changer for streaming your items out a capture card. Check it out guys. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel guys. Like I said in the intro, my name is Tom aka Retro Obsessed. It's an obsession. I have a product review for you guys today. I've been waiting a couple weeks to try this out and you guys an honest and fair review on this. Exactly how it works. But today we are going to be reviewing the HDMI video capture card. This is the audio video capture card HDMI USB 2.0 1080p broadcast live, record via DSLR, camcorder or action cam, compact HDMI, video capture device, and black. Basically, this is a capture card alternative, a 10 to $20 capture card alternative, pretty insane. It says all the way up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Pretty awesome for items such as your phone, um, the projector, PS4, your Nintendo Switch, DSLR camera, Stuff like that, if you're going to stream anything with an HDMI uh, to your PC, you can stream it using, you know, Streaming Labs or or Open Broadcast software, stuff like that. But yeah, I'll show you guys right here. Very basic. Like I said, an input is HDMI and output is USB. So it plugs right into your USB in your computer and it should automatically recognize it. Gonna be doing a full review on this. You guys exactly what it says that it supposedly can do. Uh, uh, unboxing, show you guys exactly what it looks like. And then I'm going to do a couple test streams and see exactly how it is with the lag, the latency, <clears throat> the delay, stuff like that, and ex exactly how it is. We're gonna see if this $10 unit is gonna be just as good as a $150 to $200 capture card. So I'm excited to check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go over some of the features just on the box alone, what it says. So we have uh, features, supports, input, max resolution of 4K. So it supports input 4K and then it supports output max resolution at 1080p, uh, supports 8, 10, 12 bit deep color, support AWG 26 HDMI standard cable input up to 15 meters 1080p and below resolution support most acquisition software such as vlc obs amcap etc support windows android and mac os uh, conform usb video and uvc standard uh, conform to usb video 1.5 and 1.0 standard conform to usb audio uac standard and without external power supply compact and portable that's a handful of stuff in the back in the back of the box and I, and I said it word for word so you know it's exactly what's on the box the video capture can capture both HDMI video and HDMI audio sending audio and video signals to computers smartphones previews and stores suitable for high definition acquisition teaching recording medical imaging etc pretty cool uh, let's just open it up and see what this thing looks like. Super excited to try this out, guys. I'm telling you right now, but paying $10 for this or $200 for a capture card is going to be a game changer to a lot of people, myself included. So, uh, so very, very basic box, very, very basic packaging. That's all there is. It is this unit right here in the box and the user manual. Okay, you can see right there, HDMI video capture and enjoy the vivid world. It does have a pretty good size um instruction manual there see there there's the front the back with really really good instructions uh the back is japanese chinese whichever that is we know we ain't going to use that one it has the introduction the spe uh, specifications application diagrams exactly how to do it connection and operation and even how to set it up via your streamlabs obs that's really awesome because that's what i use so I'm gonna be heading. I'm gonna be uh, trying that out with slobs, and it includes the video capture device and the user manual. That is it. So over here, we got the device there. Nothing else. No cables. No nothing like that. And it's just in in a, uh, a simple little baggie right there. Let's take it out. 
And yeah, you can see right there, uh, HDMI video capture input HDMI and output USB. HDMI video capture input HDMI output USB. So yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, all it is is a HDMI in, USB out. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, very, very straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Nintendo Switch, plug it in, and hope for the best. I'm gonna plug it straight in exactly how it says, and let's check it out, guys. Can't wait to try this out. All right, guys, so we have the Nintendo Switch hooked up. I have it right here on my desk. I'll show you a quick little picture and a video. It's literally sitting on my desk. It's plugged in. I have the HDMI cord coming from the back of the console to the HDMI video capture uh, device into the USB right into my computer. And I am in my slobs right now. My that's OBS as you can see. So I'm going to do exactly what it says and hope for the best and get it to work. So basically it says add new source, add new sources, choose video capture device. So we're going to choose a video capture device, just like it says. I'm going to name this switch just so I know. And the device is going to be probably USB webcam done. You can see right there, there's nothing there. I'm going to change it to right here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. All you can see is what I'm seeing is just the rainbow. Let me power on the switch to see if it does anything. And hey, there it is. I powered on the switch. You can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the screen on a little bit bigger so you guys can see it here. But hey, there's my switch. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the controllers right now. Hook them up to the controller and let's see if it'll work. So you can see there, I have my controller all set up there. It's just my, the basic Nintendo Switch controller. You can see the Nintendo Switch on the on on the Studio Labs OBS. Clicked out of here. We can see it and we can see it go. Do this for you so you can exactly see that it is me actually changing it. Left, left, right, 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 left, every way that is. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm only recording right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and record it for maybe like 30 seconds to see how the recording is. And then I'm going to end this recording and I'm going to do a test stream for about five minutes and see how the stream itself does as well. So let's play some Mario Kart. Go up, play some Mario Kart. So it is fully working. So that's awesome. We've been recording for almost 10 minutes now, uh, going on a couple minutes. We're going to do a race and see how it, see how it goes, see how it sounds. So. Let's try it out for a little bit. Pretty awesome though. Pretty, pretty awesome. Very cool. Yep, I can hear everything. I can see everything. Everything sounds good. Everything looks good. So pretty awesome there. You hear? All the way around, all the way around, Yoshi. All the way around. Oops, got it. No oh, red shell. What the shell? All right, so that's working. Very, very cool. Fortnite is update is updating for my son. That's his game. Got the super. So everything so everything's working um in the recording it's in the recording section so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording and i'm gonna go ahead and do a test stream and see how it goes so um i'm gonna test the stream for about maybe five minutes now i'm gonna add that to this video and see how it does so all right guys let's check out the stream nathaniel will okay how we doing doing a test a test stream right now actually um i got a ten dollar capture card alternative and it's, it's hooked up to my nintendo switch so i'm gonna go ahead and play it for just a little bit and see how it plays he said only, only it was only a ten dollar capture card alternative so but just for now i'm gonna play it for a little bit see how it plays see how the lag is see how the how the delay is so um but i and i have it at, at max settings right now 1080p 60 frames per second so uh you see i've used it at a fair big it works pretty well awesome right on yeah, I, was, I, I found this on another youtube channel so i was wanting to try it out you know and maybe do a product review for it and, and stream for a little bit stream it record it see how it see how it does so 
But so far, so good. I mean, like I said, I, ha I have it on all maxed out settings just to see how it is, how the delay is, especially with Streamlabs OBS and all that stuff. So I wanted to try it out and see how it is. Maverick, hey, hey, what's going on? Yes, I am doing the test. This is the $10 capture card um, alternative. So I already did basically a review and an unboxing, and then I did a test recording on it. So now I'm actually wanting to do a test stream, and I have it on full max settings right now just to see how it is, how the display is and everything. Hey, Xavier, how we doing tonight? What's going on? This is just a test. This is a test. This is only a test. We are doing a Nintendo Switch test with a $10 capture card alternative. So we trying. We tiny boy. We trying. We trying it out. Tom took a test. Didn't failed. Not clickbait. Late night. Exactly. Exactly. Not clickbait. So yeah, this is pretty pretty awesome. I'm gonna play for a little bit. See how it, see how it goes. So I lower the settings a little bit. So. You're probably going to have to do it with the HDMI cable. Well, that's what it is. Hey, let me pause this right now. <clears throat> so, um, I have the my, my Nintendo Switch here. It's docked, all plugged in. So, uh, Prov1996, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I have the Nintendo Switch hooked up here. And I have the HDMI cord running from the Nintendo Switch to the, the video capture device. And the, the video capture device is a USB output, which is hooked up to my computer. And that's how I'm getting the video right here. So, so I'm going to play for a little bit, see how it does, see how the lag is, see how the display is. Um, so far, so good though. So like I said, the video is just really, really small for me because it's on my monitor. Uh, I have an Elgato HD60 I literally have never used. I should, but my bedroom is too small for the kind of setup. Oh, okay, I got you. That's a bummer. So it looks like it's playing okay. Um, it looks like it's streaming okay. So I'm, I'm happy with that. That's super awesome there. Like I said, I just got to do a few more tweaks to see how I can get the... To see if I can make it transparent at all, just like the other ones. My The actual input device, so... Pac-Man Case, how are we doing? Welcome to the $10 Capture Card Alternative Test Stream. How you doing, buddy? I gotta, I gotta practice for you, man, because like I said, it's literally, the screen is like the size of my phone right now. <laughs> because it's only through uh, Streamlabs OBS, that's the only video I'm able to look through right now, so... So, my next thing up is to try to figure out how to get it on a separate device. So far, it's working, and for $10, I'm super, super happy about that. Oh, Zathadon with the... Oh, we got 200 biddies? Oh, man. Look at that. Man, I appreciate that big time. Let me try to move this here so we can actually see that. But hey guys, I'm going to end the stream. Like I said, I'm just... Um, catch you next thing. Yeah, for sure. Pac-Man, have a good night, brother. Like I said, I'm just doing a test stream to see how it is. It's working. That's awesome. Now, on to the next piece. I'm going to add this to my product review for my video. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good night, guys. Thanks a lot for stepping in, throwing in. Let me know that everything's working fine. I greatly appreciate it. Have yourself a great night, guys.